Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we're going to be soloing the Kelphite Queen. Alright, so let's just go over the um, setup really quick. I'm going to bring... Um, well, first of all, she has two forms, if you didn't know. And the first form protects against magic and ranged. So the best thing is to melee her first um, her first form, I guess you could call it. So I have full Toregs, or besides the helmet, and I have my full Slayer helmet. And then a Sarah Doman sword. And her second form protects from melee. So I have 99 magic right here, as you can see. So I will be um, protecting against, or I mean, using my magic and my Ganodermic. So as um, you kill the first half, I'll just be switching like this into my full Ganodermic and Polypore. And that will be that for the second form. So. Alright, and then also, this is a big part of it, right down here, your um, abilities bar. I combined um, Slice, Sever, Dismember, Assault with, um, re you know, whatever. I don't want to name off them all. There are all these magic attacks and then all the melee ones. And then also I have, this is just for a lot easier of switching in between, is Protect from Melee, Protect from Magic, and Protect from Ranged Missiles or whatever. Um... Okay, so first thing when you're getting there is you have to bring two ropes to get down into her thing. Like one to get into the Kelphite Hive and then one to get down into her chamber. So if you have never been down there, you got to bring two ropes. Otherwise, you just go this. First of all, you got to go through Shanty Pass and then just go this way that I'm going. Proceed regardless. You just run west out of there and try to make this trip as fast as you can otherwise you will get burned by the sun or whatever I don't really know but you get hurt and that's what's a bummer so run a little bit south and also west for the quick swing oh also there's a fairy ring there if you have completed fairy tale 2 which I almost have actually I'm close alright anyway so you get in there See, there's a rope, and um, click down here because that's where you're going to end up. So just click down there and just let your guy run. Cow fights. Um, once we get down there, we'll rest a little bit, pot up, and then head down. So don't worry about these guys seeing too much on you. But also, um, I'm not sure what stats you're supposed to have, but I have 81 attack, 81 defense, 81 hit points, and 82 strength. And I can, I can um, take her down pretty easily, but not too easily. Like I can, I can't do more than one kill per inventory. So, um, yeah. So I don't recommend this for lower levels because it's really, really hard. I don't know why I just said it like that. Okay, so once you get to this point right here, um, just rest if you want, which is what I'm doing, and then. Once you have, I don't know, you don't need too much run because she's just right in there. So you're going to pot up. I have supers and then um, a super set plus magic because that's what I'll be switching to on her other form. And then a couple prayer potions and then all the rest of monkfish. So. Okay, guys, I'm back. Switched worlds. Um, so, yeah, same thing. I'm just sitting here. All you need to do is just go over there. So, um, you know, same stuff. Pot up again. Hopefully there's nobody down there this time. I'm going to put that away, put on protect from magic, and let's get down there. I don't know. I've heard it's the best to protect from magic throughout the whole entire time. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm just gonna go with that because it seems like it's it seems like it's worked in the past. There she is. I'm here. Okay. Oh no, magic, magic, magic. Okay, there. Good. Now we shall fight her. And guys, always check your um health because you do not want to um catch yourself having extremely low health cuz then she can sometimes tank. She can hit extremely big when you're not like ready for it sometimes like she can hit up to 900 if you're not protecting and stuff so gotta be careful from that 
Alright, so she's halfway through first form about just gonna keep eating, keep using as many abilities as you possibly can. Usually the best way to go, so Alright. Let's keep hitting big. There we go. That's good. That's good. Just today I actually got my strength to eighty two. I think it's pretty good. I don't know. Some people are like, I have 99. Your 82 sucks, but you know, I'm happy. So I'm not one of those super huge levels. All right, about to get her to her second form in just a uh, uno minuto, or something like that. All right, boom. Now we switch to full Ganodermic. Pot up for magic. Keep eating. Eat a little bit more. And we are going to now protect from range, or at least that's what I am going to do. Let's start out choking her. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Polypore is pretty fast, so a lot of times it's best to let it hit one and then. Oh my gosh, why does this always happen to me? This is so stupid. Auto cast. Okay, there we go. I always forget to do that. It's like the stupidest thing ever. You have to. That's the one thing I really don't like about EOC, is you have to, like select every single spell you want to use and that annoys me so much I don't know why alright anyway so once I get to magic maybe it's just because my magic level but I think the second form is so much easier than the first form that's just me but probably because I have a higher magic level than all of my combat stats so let's just keep going let's choke I mean like when I'm meleeing I get a I get a, like a critical hit of like 2,500, 3,000, or 4,000, it depends on what ability I'm using, and then with magic, it's like nothing close to that, but that's, I don't know, so, alright, so she, it goes down, like, pretty fast, for me at least, when I'm taking down her second form, so here we go, about to get the kill, keep protecting, because even after it's done, oh, my prayer points are out, you know what I just noticed, wow, this whole time, that's funny. Alright, boom, got her, now, good drop, good drop, we got 224 nature rune, alright, cool, so, yeah, there you go, guys, um, make sure to always bring a way to teleport out, cause, um, you can never, like, sometimes she'll have a lot more hits on you and stuff like that, but, um, just a quick little update is, I have, um, I told you guys I had been working on my Slayer, which I have. Um, look, it's 69 right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, 21,000 left. I'm going for 75, and I will be um, selling all the loot from 55 to 75. I have all the loot in my bank from um, 55, so it's starting to add up. I'm hoping it'll get me enough. Since you guys know I got hacked, so... I'm hoping it'll be enough to get me like some bandos or something, some armor that doesn't degrade. Cause I don't know, there's something about like my Toregs and stuff that really annoys me. Cause I really don't like armor that degrades. But anyways, yeah. Also, I have got my dungeoneering up 65. Dungeoneering bugs me, but I wanted to get 65 for a bone crusher, so I got my bone crusher. Makes um training a lot easier. I also got my mining to 66. Um, trying to go for 85, that'll take a while, because mining is so boring, and it's so, like, such a low rate of XP, but, um, anyways, yeah, so, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and, um, good luck killing the Call Fight Queen, see you guys later.